So Rich, this um, this weekend obviously didn't go you know how you guys were expecting or hoping yep. it would go. What is sort of like the plan for you know putting it back together coming out of this? Yeah, I don't really. I mean, you've got some. You had some really good teams here. Some really good individuals. Um, you know, the, there's some things we obviously had some real trouble with that we usually don't. So um, I don't really know if we're putting pieces back together or anything. I think it's just kind of go back and figure out what we need to work on moving forward. But uh, game plan, I guess, right now is technically we're going to go to China would be the next um, sanctional we're going to try. We've been talking to talking to them about coming out there. So um, yeah. that's that's the game plan right now. So one of the things I think that, that surprised people were you guys had two DNF workouts. Yeah. You know what what happened during those events oh uh, we just just didn't you know those are movements that we, we knew the swim was going to be a little bit of trouble for Kristen, but um she just got out in the water and it was it was a lot more choppy a lot more rough than even i expected i got out there and was even a little bit um you know surprised at how nasty it was so there were some things that weren't exactly briefed in um you know if you grabbed the jet ski it was said that it was assumed that you wanted to come back, but you know she would hold on to. She, you know, panicked a little bit, grabbed on, and would swim, and wasn't really moved through the workout by the jet ski. She would just grab on every once in a while. I don't know how many times she grabbed. I even haven't even we haven't talked about it. But um, we got back and they said we couldn't continue on in the workout. So um, that wasn't exactly brief. So there's just you know there's some things that weren't communicated exactly correctly. Um, but that's no excuse. We still wouldn't have done well in that workout. Like it's it's neither here nor there and then uh, you know just on the, the legless rope climb she just got a little bit blown up so um, things that usually don't happen just happen and so um, we'll you know we'll, we'll move on and, and uh, it'll be alright. So you know you're a student of the game right mm -hmm. I mean you've been doing this for so long and the super team thing is not news to you right, right? yeah. How do you you know make any adjustments if you make any adjustments going forward with the new season and the format of the super teams? Yeah, no, I know. It's going to be tough to kind of see. This first year is going to be a little bit of a learning experience. Um, see what some of these teams that come to these things, are they actually going to stay together as a team? Or are they going to um, go individual? Like, it's just it's, it's kind of weird to, to figure out. So um, it may take a little bit of a learning curve to kind of figure that out and what we need to do moving forward. But um, I think we'll be all right. So last question. If Rogue sends you a Legends invite, are you gonna take it? I've, I have a Legends invite, so um, I'm I've told Bill, depending on what the individual or what the team workouts look like and how crushed I am from those, um, I will try to do the Legends event depending on how I feel. So as long as I feel like, you know, if I if we've already qualified, then yes, I'll definitely do the Legends event. But if we haven't qualified and that's you know something that we're gonna depend on, then um, then I'm I'm you know, kind of have to pass up on that. You know, the team comes first. So yeah, for sure. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem.